Okay, now we're going to have some examples of uh, where we put JavaScript. Uh, and we have three examples here. We've got one where it's a basic place to put it. We've got another place where we can keep it in the body of the, uh, of the HTML document. Another place where we keep it in the head of the HTML document. Let's take a look at what it looks like in the body. Uh, I mean, a very basic, a very basic. I'm going to open this with Notepad. And let's see a very, very basic JavaScript program. And there it is. What I've got here is a tag that says script. And uh, it's got type equals text JavaScript inside quotation marks. And it says an alert. I am from JavaScript inside quotation marks. And then an ending script tag. So let's see what this, <coughs> what this does when I go ahead and click on it. When I double click, uh, the browser comes up. And there is a little pop-up box, the JavaScript alert says, I'm from JavaScript. So already you can see that JavaScript does do some kind of <coughs> uh, interaction with HTML. <coughs> so let's close that one. And now let's have a look at it in the body of the HTML element. And it's the same thing. It pops up and says, I am, I am from JavaScript. But let's see how we did it differently this way. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come here and I'm going to open it with uh, notepad and when I look at it this time what I see is a more well-formed HTML document there's my root element HTML and then there's the head and the title in which says in the body and here I come in the body and now there's my script tag again which tells the browser that what follows is script and it's going to be text and specifically JavaScript notice I'm writing all of this in notepad and there's my alert again. It says, I am from JavaScript. And of course, now it ends the script tag, and it ends the body tag, and it ends the HTML. So what, what it did for me was exactly the same thing as before, except now it's in a more well-formed document. And it's in the body part so that as soon as the document comes up, the script gets activated. OK, let's look at the third thing that we had here. Let's look at what happens when I have the the uh, the script in the head, I'm going to open it with uh, with Notepad, and I'm going to look at it. Now, what I've got is something a little bit different. What I've got here, I've got here's my HTML again. In the head element now, I now have a script tag. There, it opens the script, and now it's closing the script right here. And now I have a, I've made a function called do it. That's just a way of identifying what I want to have done. I have an opening brace here and a closing brace. This tells where the function begins. This tells where the function ends. And again, I have alert. I am JavaScript. Now, what happens now when this uh, comes up, when the browser comes up, it's not going to do this right away because it's in the head element. It's just going to be sitting there. In the body, what I've done is I've put a button, an input type button. Its value is going to be click me. And when I click it on click, it's going to do do it. And do it is the name of this function up here, which will, again, show me that alert box that says I'm from JavaScript. So let's see, in effect, if that really does happen. So I'm going to double click on this guy. And he pops up. And lo and behold, there's this little button that says click me. Notice that the pop-up box that says I'm from JavaScript uh, didn't happen. It's not going to happen until I click on that button. It calls the function, and there's, there's the alert box now. Okay. So what we've seen here is we've seen the differences between having a very, very basic type of JavaScript and then having it where it's in the body, when the JavaScript commands are in the body, uh, it comes up immediately. When the JavaScript commands are in the head elements, I can delay them for some kind of interactivity. So what we've seen here are three basic ways of doing the JavaScript. We'll see another way of doing it in the next video, which is having the JavaScript in a separate document. Okay, that's it for now. Thank you for watching.